overseas now to the tensions escalating in the Middle East. Let's go to Matt Gutman on the scene in Tel Aviv, where new details on Israel troops possibly preparing for expanded operations in southern Lebanon. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. The Israeli military is expanding that incursion in southern Lebanon, trying to control the 60-mile-wide border it shares with Lebanon and push Hezbollah northward. Now, Hezbollah opened fire on Israel exactly a year ago today, joining Hamas, and that rocket fire displaced about 60,000 Israelis. The Israeli government says that this incursion is meant to get those people back to their homes, but Hezbollah is still able to fire those rockets. We saw this massive salvo over the port city of Haifa today, and Israel's assault on Lebanon, especially the southern Beirut stronghold that Hezbollah has has been withering. At this point, the Lebanese government says 1.2 million people have been displaced in Lebanon. And today, Hezbollah's new leader going on TV taunting Israel, saying that they're going to get bogged down in Lebanon. But he did leave the door open for a ceasefire. That is Israel continues to calibrate its response to that historic Iranian missile attack from last week. Last week they said it would be fast and severe. It's a week later. Israeli officials say that they are still calibrating their response. They are consulting with the U.S., but the response is coming, Michael. All right, Matt, thank you so much for that.